Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best free VPN options available for iOS. Now, as we all know, Apple released an interesting security feature for iCloud users back in 2021 called Private Relay, which seems to operate similarly to a built-in free VPN for its devices. However, it's still not clear whether or not it can match the performance of a traditional free iOS VPN. What makes it different from a traditional VPN is that it functions by routing your internet traffic to two proxy servers. The first server operated by Apple encrypts the data and sends it to the second server operated by a third party provider, which then decrypts it before sending your request to a website. This way, Apple is aware of your IP address, but doesn't know the specific website that you're visiting. There's also a bit of concern about the fact that while the third party provider doesn't know your identity, they'll always be aware of your online queries. Another issue is that Apple doesn't have a strict no logs policy, which is a necessary feature in today's top VPNs. So it's uncertain if they can trace your data back to you if necessary. Also, private relay only encrypts your internet traffic when using Safari, leaving other applications and browsers vulnerable to tracking. And its proxy servers are easily identifiable and often get blocked by websites. Now, if you're not satisfied satisfied with Private Relay, don't worry because there are some other options available to you. Two of the best free VPN options for iPhones are currently TunnelBear and ProtonVPN. These VPNs have an audited no logs policy, which ensures that your data won't be captured or sold. And they also provide a system wide encryption. So all of your apps will go through the same VPN servers, keeping your traffic safe and secure. Although security is a fundamental aspect of a VPN, there's much more to it. So I've been using these VPNs for some time now, and I'd like to talk a little bit more about them. TunnelBear allows me to connect to an unlimited number of devices simultaneously. I tested it on a bunch of my devices and it all worked out really, really well, actually. Also, TunnelBear has a pretty large country list considering it's a free VPN and is available to all users from the get-go. While Proton has only about five locations for free users, TunnelBear has about 45 locations globally, which is a pretty impressive number. Also, TunnelBear has an effective kill switch feature called Vigilant bear, which means that if the VPN connection is lost, your data won't be leaked, which is really useful. And another great free option for iOS devices would be Proton VPN. So Proton stands out for being open sourced and allowing developers or those with techie knowledge to examine and identify their any vulnerabilities, which makes Proton VPN an exceptionally safe free VPN with security levels that are comparable to its paid counterparts. Also, Proton doesn't have a data limit, which sets it apart from other free VPNs like TunnelBear, which has a two gig data limit. So despite this, many free VPNs have similar features, such as many servers in different locations and various tunneling protocols, including WireGuard. It's also worth noting that during testing, Proton speeds were not that impressive, which may be due to its higher server usage. So just keep that in mind when considering Proton as a free VPN. So by now you may have realized that using a free VPN may not be the best long-term solution since streaming and torrenting might not be that reliable and the limitations of these VPNs will become apparent quickly. So for example, even though TunnelBear and Proton can access most sites, they tend to struggle with most streaming services. And the struggle stems from low speeds and inconsistencies with accessing streaming services. Now, the question is, is upgrading to the paid version of the VPNs worth it? Well, these two VPNs are among the best free VPN options for iPhones in 2024, but their premium versions are not necessarily the top choices on the market. And so if you're looking for a superior premium iPhone VPN, there are way better options available. So you know that I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the three best VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have the kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, etc. That's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them might be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, this is gonna be the one that you're gonna get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest and easiest to use VPN. Like 
It has the most verified no logs policies, which was demonstrated through real life tests, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus you can have up to eight simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices. So ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, then Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN because it has over 6,300 servers in 111 countries. And while more servers doesn't necessarily mean better service, but this can definitely help with speed and latency, especially if you're using a VPN for gaming. Nord is also a fantastic option if you want extra features like the threat protection, which blocks ads and malware ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files. It's a neat little feature. And Nord also gives you a lot more options to fiddle with. And that's where the value for the money comes from, especially since it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to 10 devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's eight device limit. So all in all, if you're looking to have a few more options in a VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. And you get some bonus features like an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use Use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of like a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. So to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. Like ExpressVPN is a v premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and looking for the best VPN overall. All. NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a super great plus. So at the end of the day, whether you choose a free VPN or a premium VPN, it ultimately depends on you, on your preference and your budget. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check the links out in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.